right. Another one of those firsts today for Harry. Right, we're gonna. I'm, I'm in the tractor. Just turn that blower off. I'm in the tractor with a loader on it and a trailer. Harry is coming along with the muck spreader, and we are off to the bale field. And the plan is, I'm going to chuck the muck on the field where there's some space between the bales. But Hazza is going to load a trailer. He's going to load a trailer with this loader. Now, let me just point it out here. I'll just, I've got it. I'll spin it around. Up. This is a flat eight grab. No, it's not. It's not a flat eight grab. It's definitely not a flat eight grab. It's a round bale grab. Right. This is a round bale grab. Let me just put, look. It works on the principle of pinching the bales. Like that. If you squeeze the lever. So basically, Harry's never used this before. He's played on Farm Simulator. Look at him, he's not hanging around. Where is he going? Look. Oh. He's, it's almost like he's driven that tractor before, isn't it? Not bad for a 13 year old. First time ever out right on that. We got ourselves a convoy. He's not waiting for me, is he? Right, yeah. Oh, he's put, he's put the beacon on that. Oh dear, look. Let me just show you that. Can you see there, look? He's put the beacon on. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm wobbling all. Anyway, trust me, the beacon is on. He's, he loves his beacon. Right, anyway, as I said, he's not driven this tractor loader before, and this is a lot harder than when he drove the um, loader when he was loading the hay, because the bales are wrapped in plastic, and one slight mistake with the loader, and you can rip the plastic off, and trust me, I've been doing this for donkey's years, and I rip bales every time I do this. So, Harry has got quite a high chance of making quite a few mistakes. So much so that I have three rolls of tape with me. Now, give him his due, he's a very steady driver and he's a lot steadier probably than me. So he might not do too badly. He's done, I mean, it's amazing how he's picked up stuff on Farm Simulator just watching how they load there and I think he's kind of got quite a lot of patience more than I have so we're gonna we're gonna stop and chat to him when we get to the field I'll give him this chance to load this one trailer I, I held back from loading until this evening so that he would have a chance normally I don't do any loading work in the evenings because I've had a long enough day anyway but I've left this to the evening because he's got to got to have the chance to learn and this, these are the last lot of round bales we'll make, I think, of silage anyway, this year. Because as you know, I've got a hell of a lot of grass. Or I have had a lot of grass. Anyway, we're going to crack on. We'll get to the field. We'll, see, we'll have a little chat with Harry. I'm going to put the muck out. He's going to load some bales. And we'll see how we go. Look, there's the bales we've already got. Look at that. He's, bom he's bombing off. There's the bales we've already got. I loaded some this afternoon. We've only got to fill in that little bit on the right. So we, we, we've got 50 more bales to stack in there. So we're going to look at that. Right, I'm going to turn this off till we get to the field now. And, oh, and Harry's got something to show you as well. He's very proud of. I'll show you when we get there. Convoy, 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 convoy! I have to laugh. Harry's muller is getting quite big now, and I keep looking at it, and I can't work out what, what to make of it really. He's got this huge duck tail on the back of his head. He's got a lot of hair. Anyway, we're in the field now. Look at this all these bales so Harry's gonna load up I'm gonna drive one day is he gonna come over here? so we got over 50 bales in this field if you get Harry to come down over here and then I'll come back and do the map. come here special thing to show you which he saved up for 
into something special. We've got something else special. Someone sent us some uh, uh, furry dice for Harry's car. I'll do it. I'll put those in the video another day. There is a letter that came with them. I've forgotten their name. They're really nice, nice letter. But in the meantime, Haz has also bought something else to go in the car and also on his tractor. Here he is. Hazza, what have you got there, mate? What have you... <laughs> Look at that! I love it, mate! Awesome! Are you going to have that across there where you're loading? Yeah. All right, cool. Can you see that? Do you think that a show? Like that. That's like truckers have and stuff, isn't it? Uh-huh. Hazza. Hazza, right. I'm going to sort of drive you down in the middle. This is a very tricky job. Do you realise this? Yeah. Do you, do you need me in the cab with you at first, or do you want me to just yeah, leave you to it? For the first bell. Hey? For the first bell. Okay. This is actually really difficult, Harry. Yeah. A lot harder than moving hay bales. I've done it before. Have you? Yeah. When? Down Botany. Last Did you? Yeah. I don't remember. Well, you weren't. No, that was CGI Harry doing that, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, I didn't do that. I don't remember. I don't remember CGI Harry doing that. I do. I remember watching how it. How many did you do? I mean, sorry, how many did CGI Harry about, do? I think he did about half a trailer. I'm going to have to put. I'm going to have to put the trailer this way, but even though the bales are all that way, yeah. because otherwise the trailer might roll down the the field. Unlikely, but yeah. Well, we don't want to take that risk, do we? No. Imagine if you were loading the, back a lot. the trailer rolled down. That wouldn't be good, would it? It's grown back a lot, this field. Right. It has grown back a lot. It's amazing, actually, how it's grown back. Right, should we get out and have a look? Right. The sun hitch. I mean, you wouldn't believe we mow only mowed this. Don't walk under the loader. Really so we mowed this, yeah. hey? There's a big roof sticker in the way. Oh, what, the hazard thing? No, no, the, the roof sticker. Oh, well, where are you going to put that then, otherwise? They can't take the roof sticker off, otherwise I'll forget and drive this through the shed and whack the roof off. Off the tractor. Uh, oh well. You can put it on the back. Back, back window, that ain't worth doing, is it? That's all right, we know what that says. We'll have to have a picture of you later. But it, yeah, this has really greened up in, and we only mowed it Friday, you was put it? put a new lane. It? Well, it's also gre it's greened up everywhere in the other field. It's because it's been so wet. Mm. We might actually get some more cuts off here, or certainly be able to graze the cow soon. Right, I'm just going to hitch, unhitch you and then you can go. Mm -hmm. Board the hazard wagon then. Well, not really. Tell me about that, uh, let me just put that up. Tell me about that um, number plate then, where'd you get that from? Amazon. How much does that cost? Seven pounds. Seven quid, that's pretty good. What, including delivery? Mm-hmm. Wow. Comes with sticky pads on the back if you want to. Put it on. That's pretty cool, I like that. Hazza! <laughs> wow! That's cool. You see you see a lot of people there. Oh it's not gonna show up there, is it? We might have to work on that. Bearing in mind Are you gonna keep that in your yeah, are you gonna keep that in your tractor or in the tractor? I don't or have a tractor do No, not yet. Uh, are you gonna put it in a tractor or in a car? It's gonna go in the car. Right, so oh you don't wanna leave it here permanently then? No. Okay, so basically that's here for today. Right. Mm -hmm. So we are in the hazard wagon. And when we do tedding. It's gonna yeah. Okay. Right, lead on then. You need to practice a little bit on a few bells. This is this is very difficult to be honest. This, you'll find it. Yeah, it's a nasty noise, I'm not sure. Don't look under the bonnet, it'll be alright. Just ignore the nasty noise that this tractor engine's making. Now you know how dodgy the clutch is, don't you? Yeah. You also know it's not very easy on this. Right. Oh, I've forgotten which button switch. Yeah, well, just do have it so you can see. Right, now, now turn. Right, have a practice. Right. Right, squeeze them together. Okay. Take them apart. You also notice they're a bit bent. That one there is on this side is angled out, you can't really see. Yeah, I know. It's not straight. Right, are you, which one are you going for? Right. Okay. I always start at the top and drop it down because then if you don't judge it right, you've got the roll of the bale. So angle it, angle it back a little bit. That's it. Go in from the top. Slow, right, slow right down. Okay. Right. Okay, widen it out. Have you opened it out a bit more? Yeah. Right, okay, now, now just drop it down. That's it. All the way down. Right, keep going. Keep going. Down, down, down. It's got to go right down to the bottom. 
All right, now you squeeze. Squeeze it shut. Okay. I think you'll be all right. All right, now angle it back to you. That's perfect. Yeah. Keep it angled back to you a bit this way. That's it. Now go off on the loop round. Do you realise we're only stopping for one bale? I'm asking you a question here while you're driving. Just drive, just drive down there through the gaps. Make it easy for yourself. Um, how many bales do you think you'll damage? You've got 11 bales to load. No, you haven't. Yes. 14 on No, 11. Eight on the bottom and three on the top. Um, Out of 11. Well, I'm not going to say none. No, no because you will. Five. You will rip some. I ripped about three this afternoon. I'm going to say five. Yeah. It's also, I think there's a, a bit of a bolt loose on the front that actually catches the bales. So we're gonna get five on it. I'm gonna. Where are you gonna put? I'm gonna let you put this one on. Then I'm gonna disappear and spread the up and then I'll come back. All right. So we see how you go. With the door open. Well, that's all right. So where you work? Are you? So what you want to do is put some on this side, but not. Don't look four on this side and then. Yeah. Four. Two on the. Yeah. Two otherwise, there's too much weight on this side and the tailor might tip. Yeah, that wouldn't be very. And good. it's already on an angle anyway. All right. Okay, you concentrate. I'll oh, shut up. There's no race. Now, you might need to get that a little yeah. bit over that way because otherwise you, you'll struggle with room. But also, you need to make sure it's no more than halfway on the trailer. Otherwise, you won't have room the other Ooh. side for the bale. That's all right. I would say come back a little bit. It needs to be no more than halfway across. So it might need to stick out a little bit on the edge here. Otherwise, the other bale, the other side will be off too much. And you know how bad the clutch is on this tray. That's probably about right. Try that. Okay, drop that down. You can always push it in a little bit if, later on if it's, if it's not in enough. Oh, that's not enough, right? You need to push it in a bit more. Just push it forward. That's it. I don't think we judged it quite right. Okay. I know, well, it's probably the slope of the trade. I'm okay, dad messed up. Dad messed up. I tell you what, Abby, I think I'll just shut up and let you do it because you're probably better at this than me. That's it. That's all right. Right, I'm going to get out now, mate. Are you comfortable doing I'm this? Going all right. Are you comfortable with me leaving you to it? Sure. All right, worst case scenario, I've got three rolls of tape, Harry. Let's do more down there. Yeah, right. I think it might have Oh, you'll be fine. And he's off. He's off, look. Taking it steady, which is really good. The main thing is he's not ragging it around the field like he could. And it is about being steady on rain bales. and lift has he got that squeezed enough I don't think he's got it quite no he hasn't he needs to be lower down he's got that too high on the veil didn't need to come back then this is where this is where you rip it if you're not careful he needs to get the bars right underneath the bale if it's too high up they sort of slide over here we go, look. That's it, it needs to be down, that's it. Right down the bottom, now go, 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 straight in. That's it, now squeeze. Squeeze there, that's better. Squeeze. Go on. Go on, squeeze, Harry. Oh no, he's lifted it too high again. I might have to go and, oh no, he's... <laughs> 
Come on, Harry, just squeeze now. Squeeze. Please, squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Don't lift, just squeeze. Squeeze it as much as you can. Go on. What's he doing? Is he going to squeeze it? Come on. No, don't lift. Oh, actually, has he done it now? I can't. Might have it this time. Yes, I think he's got it. Okay. Right. So here he comes. And that's, let's have a look. Oh, the positioning, that's much better, look. Got it at the base of the bale. If you squeeze in the middle, they tend to slide through. That's, that's it. It's sort of, you want it resting in a cradle, really. Nice. Right, let's see how he gets on unloading. Here he comes. Very windy out here. Okay, that's good, that's good, push it in, perfect, perfect, that's really good, these are that, very good, well done mate, excellent, nice, let's have a look, so he hasn't snagged it, he's got it in, I think he might have them over a bit far to be honest, that bale needs to be over that way. We're going to struggle to get all four bales on there, I think, because he's not positioned them quite close enough to the um, to the rails. I'm going to leave him to it. I'm going to go and put that muck out. Uh, do you know what? It's probably better that Dad's not around, is it? <coughs> let, him, let him have a go. He will make mistakes. Crikey, I made loads make loading those bales. It is hard learning. Some people find it easy. There's no doubt about it, your ability is in you. Some people will just get on that and fly with it. Some people will just spend hours ripping bales. But, uh, you know, my main thing is to encourage them, isn't it? If someone's keen to do something, you've got to give them all the encouragement you can. And uh, he's keen to do that. Jack's not bothered, he's not interested. So, you know, I've offered him a chance to drive the tractors and stuff doing this, and he just doesn't want to do it. Which is, you know, that's all right. Oh, look at that, isn't that lovely? Someone's had a McDonald's and it's blown out. <sighs> McDonald's 50th birthday bag, thank you. Brilliant. All right, he's on with that over there. More rubbish. Right. Oh. It's a lovely evening for being in the field. Do you know what? I hate my winters when it's wet and horrible, but when the summer's like this, you can't knock it, you can't beat it, really. English countryside. It's beautiful. Alright, let's get and get this muck out. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just putting this out in between the bales. Randomly. Try not to get the muck actually on the uh, on the hay bales. smelly. I guess what it 
is I haven't spread any mud for quite a while uh, with the spreader because we're not doing much spreading this time of year and uh, I forgot how stinky it is Ooh, stinky well, that's, that, that's that load spread it's good to get it on uh, freshly mown grass really because it will go straight down on the roots whereas if you stick it on a field that's been mown like two weeks ago you're sticking on the new growth of the grass so it's better to get it on now there we go harry's steadily track cracking on just see him up here see how he's getting on yes yeah, so i say what it's a blooming nice feeling having him doing that because i'm stepping into a stage where maybe I can take a little bit of a step back from a few bits because he'll happily go out on an evening when he gets good enough to do this I'll be able to say well go out and do those bales this evening and I know that he'll do it because he loves it and that means that it just eases the pressure on me because um let me just stop here it was quite interesting because um obviously I had this situation go on with me when I left school um well, I wouldn't do round bales when I was at school, only after I left school. But um, my dad sort of got pushed out of doing stuff, I think. Uh, and I was doing all this sort of stuff and I carried on. And uh, there's this, there was a sweet spot really when my brother and myself and my dad, all of us were active on the farm. My dad was sort of semi-retired and he was really running the office. Um, and me and brother were doing all the work and stuff and it was looking back he didn't well we didn't employ anyone to do any relief milking um and looking back it was really really a good time because it was, i could do in the winters i'd spend a lot of time doing hedge laying and things like that because i could go off for the afternoon my brother would uh, be milking my dad would help with him the yards and then help him finish off milk and i could get a good run to do hedge laying or even a bit like the stone walling and what happened is when my dad passed away we suddenly lost that ability to get that extra those extra hours because though he was 82 when he died he really saved us a lot of time a lot of paperwork and so the kind of my brother stepped in that's why he, he's not around on the farm as much as me i suppose he stepped in and took up the paperwork but that sucks the flipping man hours out of the farm it really does especially now uh which means i'm sort of covering most of the yard work and things like that and, you know because my brother has to someone's got to do the paperwork um and what's dropped is the things like the hedge laying and the things the stone walling and things like that that my dad did in between doing his paperwork we've lost that so it's down to two of us now many of you who say there's two of you on a farm like this there's plenty and sure it is you know there's enough labor to run the farm but if you want to start doing the extras like the the lovely things i love like the hedge lid, they are very time consuming and i just haven't got the time to do those now but get back to my point really if hazard does stuff like this you know maybe i would have a bit of time to do things um maybe but then you know who knows right there's plenty more to think about in the future apart from a bit of part-time work from hazard right let's get out and see how he's doing oh. we might have to concede we don't get so many on this trailer this time because of the spacing let's have a look seems to be doing pretty well. I don't see any rips. I'm not seeing any rips at all. Ooh, he's probably better at this than me. Well, that wouldn't be difficult to be honest. I reckon he's trying extra hard because he, he didn't want to rip a bale. Take your time. Trouble is I've done this so long I just get a bit brash really. I just want to crack on. And so I'm not as careful as he is. Well, we've got to get back for something else, whereas he's just got to do this. See if I can get up to where he's loading it and see. Oh, I can smell that manure. Yeah, 
to see. He's got it right. He's got that right on that bale. That's good. Yes, well done. I think the uh, the spikes are a little bit bent. That left hand one, I think it's got a wonk on it. Um, probably either needs tightening up or it needs to be uh, reheated and straightened. I got a feeling that it broke a few years ago and it was welded back on. And I think the angle isn't quite right. I think the steel around the socket broke. I'll film this one and then we'll wait for the very end of it and uh, see how he does at the end. Will he have space for another one? I think he might actually. He might have judged it better than I thought. Got to give him credit. <laughs> Close. Up a bit, up a bit, but otherwise rip the plastic. Up. Oh no, he's alright. Needs to come in a bit more. That's it, a bit more. Perfect. Lovely, lovely. Got that right. Good on you, lad. Good on you. Right. Harry's on his last bail now. What I've told him to do is. Uh, not to put a bale right in the middle up the top there so that um, he doesn't have to worry about snagging the bale next to him uh, he'll only put them there he's done really well actually he did and I got it on the on my phone on his phone but not on the my camcorder he did snag this bale he had it too low and as he pushed it in it snagged underneath um, which you probably can't see now what I could do with that one is if I stack that on top of another bale the pressure of that bale will seal against the other one so that it will be airtight so I think I can get away without actually taping that one which is good because the rest don't need taping he's done really well he's blooming good for a 13 year old lad he's blooming good I wasn't doing that at 13 He's put the beacon on, uh, he loves the beacon. Oh dear. He's got his hazard sign in the cab. And that's not an easy tractor to drive. You know, as I said before, the clutch is a bit dodge. It's not, uh, it's not my favorite tractor for using. The other one's still on the mower, so it's... That's good enough for today. Let's go and have a chat. How are you feeling, Harry? Good. Turn that off a minute. Oh, I've that one bail. How did you find that? Fine. Was it harder than you thought? Mm. It's sort of. What? Not really. What, not really. what were the hardest bits and the easiest bits? Uh, trying to get the last bail on. Yeah trying to get the spacing right it's difficult the spacing that's yeah. just down to practice really isn't it because mm -hmm. you caught the last bale a bit low didn't you mm. but the thing the is easiest bit is getting the top ones do you know what i think the thing is though it's easier to see how to do it when you're outside the cab like i was because mm. you can judge the height easier when you're up here it's quite hard to judge the height and the spacing with with the bale in front of you as well isn't it because yeah. it blocks your visibility and also you've got a disadvantage you're not so tall i don't know if we can put this seat up i don't know actually whether if you lift your bum off the seat a minute it might be broken i thought you, no... i'm not sure how i never adjust it i think one of these is up and one of these is down uh, is that any different has it gone up at all no i think there's supposed to be an air thing in it i think it's probably broken 
Yeah. Like everything on this oh, track. Yeah, it's can't even work. That's it. <laughs> now it's like on the floor. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be electric. I think it's supposed to go up. It's like a like a pad. I'm pretty sure it used to make a sound like electrics. Yeah. There's a cable there, look. I think everything's broken on this. Well, screen. it's old, isn't it? Oh, I don't know what you can put it forward if you stand up. Yeah, I know. It does go forward a bit. This thing though is definitely broken. It didn't used to be like that. It used to go up a bit. It's all right for me, but for you, it needs to be higher, doesn't it? Right, yeah, what are we doing? I've just it even worse. Have you? Yeah. So are we taking it, am I taking it back or are you taking it back? I'll take that one back. You're taking the max spreader back? Uh -huh. All right, I'll hitch on and then we'll go back. Don't forget, don't forget Hazza. Whoa, nice one, mate. All right. All right, I'll just hitch on and we'll go back. So it's like change, change of the plan on the evening. I'm gonna leave the trailer here tonight because, uh, well, it's nearly half six. I wanna get in and have my tea, really. So I said to Harry, just, just have a go at taking one bale off with a loader. You can drive the tractor, just the tractor and the bale back and put it on the uh, load. I'll leave this on the stack, though. I'll leave this here and I'll unload that myself tomorrow. Um, I don't want to leave the trailer in the field where the cows are because they might have a nibble on the bales So that's why I'm dumping it here. So we're just waiting for Harry to come back He's gone off to tie the gate Which he should be able to do. There's a loop that goes over a post But I got a feeling he's probably not quite tall enough to get it over the post. Anyway, we'll wait till he's back See if you can get that off. That, that's quite a difficult job compared with actually lifting them in the field because you've got bales underneath that are easy to skag. I think he's gonna have to go forward with the tractor a little bit more first, yeah. Let's see how he gets on. No pressure, Harry. Good thinking, he's opened those up wide. He's getting the angle right before he goes. I'd lift it up higher above the bales if I was him. What's he doing? Ooh, that's a bit. Ooh. Go on, that's it, go on. Oh, he's doing all right. That's it, squeeze shut. Nice. Might have that really well, actually. He's done that well. Well done, lad. Up a bit more, that's it. Nice. Nice, nice. I'm very proud of him for doing this. And any of you who've watched this, as Harry grows with his ability over the years on this channel, you've got to be, got to be pleased to see his achievement and where he's going. Because he's a grafter and he's a trier. And he won't, he won't uh, sit at home just doing nothing. He, he's always got something on the go. Even if he's just, he's still, we were putting a, Putting the exhaust on a, a model tractor last night. Uh, I've got to get it here, I've got to shut the gate. But, um, and he's got to get that on the stack. Uh, right, let me just sort this gate out. Right. Get on the stack. Sort the gate, let's just get back. And uh, I'm just gonna see how he gets on loading this stack. I was just saying, you know, about you watching how Harry's developed and what I do on the farm. I am very grateful for the community that I'm part of it, because like, like I said, someone sent Harry some uh, furry dice the other day and they sent a lovely little letter just saying how they watch what we do and stuff and it is really nice. That's what's, that's what's lovely about doing this is the genuine lovely people that, that do care about what I do and, and what, how my family are and stuff. Because it is a lonely, isolated job and you don't have that interaction with people that other people get. So when someone makes the effort to send you a, something, you know, it really is appreciated. Right, Harry's on it, look. Here he goes. Now again, this is tricky. Because he's got to line that up without tagging a bale. And a farming simulator has probably helped him. Oh yeah, I think he's got the angle quite right. Let me just turn this off. Right. Let me see how he's doing. Go on, go on Harry, just try. It doesn't really matter if he messes up here. I'll sort it out tomorrow. I think he, he hasn't said anything. I think he's found it a little bit harder than he thought. Um, 
because it is a lot more concentration the the little bales or the sorry the the bales of wrap net wrap on are very easy nice one harry all good he's heading back now oh we've got to swap tractors he wants this one all right let's get going then we're done all right as yeah. how did you find that on the stack it was only one wasn't it Easier, did you? Yeah. But Easy do you turn it on there than getting off the trailer? Do you think so? Yeah. Yeah, because the danger, the, the biggest danger on there is the end of those things poking into a bale and behind it. Yeah. We well, better text mum and say you get the tea on. Yeah. Also, uh, another thing that yeah. could happen is like you could put it not far enough on the bale, just rolls itself back down. True. And if there's someone underneath it, then that's a no no. Well, we don't want anyone underneath it. I bet. I've, Oh, I, I'm just going to text mum. Oh, can you text mum? Text I'm trying to do everything. Why is she cooking for tea, do you know? No. Don't really care, I just want some food. Right, are you taking the old drop nose back? Yeah. Really okay. Cool, you got your uh, you got your hazard sign up on it, haven't you? Beacon. So you started and finished with the hazard sign. <laughs> Love that. Love that, mate. All right, well, I'll see you back at the ranch, all right? Ranch? Yeah, that's what they say in cowboy films. They don't have farms, do they? They have ranches. No. You've probably never watched Bonanza, have you? These, when I was a kid, cowboy TV programs and films were massive. They were on all the time. You don't watch anything like that, do you? No. No. I'll see you back at the ranch, Harry. All right? All right. <laughs> right, guys. You're not coming in with me tonight, but I'm going back to the ranch. I'll see you, see you somewhere else apart from the ranch. See you tomorrow, crack on.